Hour 7 EDM, and I'm here at the Heartfelt Pool Party in Miami for Miami Music Week with Sean Frank. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Hello, how are you? Good. Um, so th you said that this is your favorite week of the year. What yeah. makes this your favorite? Um, because I always play as many parties as possible. This year I'm playing, I think, eight or nine, and I'm yeah. debuting a new song at Ultra, and uh, I just, it's so much exciting stuff happens this week. I get to try out all the new songs I've been working on for the summer. Um, Love it. Every set I do is different, so it's like a challenge for me to like mix it up. And, right. Uh, that's the best part about DJing is like... Well, I love your new single, Throwback. Oh, thank but you. But the music video, oh. it is so powerful. Yeah. I have, I can't lie. I, I mean, I shed a tear or two. Yeah, we, the reaction <laughs> to that video has been amazing. And uh, the director, our friend Tyler, he's done all my videos. And I don't know, it's just, we... <sighs> It's like the one take video right. and, and uh, so I mean, me and Delaney have a lot of, we have a lot of history, me and Delaney, yes. so yeah. <laughs> um, so you didn't start out musically in the EDM scene. So how did you sort of transition into this world and get to where you are today? Yeah, I was the singer of a band since yeah. high school. Uh, you opened for Kiss or something? Yeah, my band opened for Kiss. Kiss so. uh, like all sorts of crazy stuff happened with my bands. And the way I kind of transitioned into this was I was singing on dance records. It was actually Armin Van Buren reached out. Uh, awesome. To have me sing on an arty record. This was like five years ago. And then I was talking to Nikki Romero and all these guys about it. And I was singing, sending vocal demos. Yeah. And I had a song uh, that I sang on Do Really Well uh, in Europe. And I went to Europe and I was touring and getting into the whole thing. And I started DJing and making my own music. And, and the rest is are. history, right? Yeah, here, here we, we are. are, Miami Music Week. Right. So you gave out a phone number for fans to text you. That's and right. And I love that you said whenever you're making music, you don't get on social media. Why is that? Um, I, I personally feel like social media is kind of toxic to my creative energy I love um that. i just it just really messes up my brain i, I can't yeah. explain it maybe it's not the same for everyone maybe it is and if it is then we have to like as a culture kind of cut back yeah the same changes. way like smoking's yeah. bad for you and and yeah. alcohol you know you don't drink every day all day mm -hmm. i think uh there's a bit of like an oxytocin effect with uh with social media and it's it can be bad for you so I think my most creative times are when I'm like not in that world and in kind of present in my own world. Right. I know we have to cut this short. So what's yeah. next for you? Uh, dropping a new track with Tiesto at Ultra. Yes, that's and, amazing. Uh, and and uh, and then I'm in the studio all summer and doing a couple festivals and yeah, Great. excited. Thank you so much. This is really exciting for me. Thanks. I just saw you for the first time in New York opening for tri for Tritonal oh, yeah. that was for their amazing. Tritonia that was 250. Amazing. So this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. With Sean Frank for Mix 24/7 EDM. I'm Santina Mirren.